Now here's something you are not going to hear on the mainstream media. What you do hear is warmongers arguing that we must protect Ukraine because it is a quote unquote democracy, but they're lying. Ukraine isn't actually a democracy. For example, to hold on to power, Ukraine's president shut down the three TV stations that were openly criticizing him and his policies, imprisoned the head of the opposition political party that had come in second place in their elections, and went and arrested and jailed that party's leaders. This is exactly what Putin has been accused of doing. But Ukraine did this all with the support of the United States. The Obama administration and other war hawks in Washington flagrantly interfered in the internal politics of Ukraine, doing whatever they could to help overthrow the elected president, Viktor Yanukovych, and replace him with U.S. puppets. And now here we are. Neo-Nazis in the far right are on the march in Ukraine. And what are we doing? We're helping them. And Biden weighs deploying thousands of troops to Eastern Europe and the Baltics. And so people. People don't realize that, yes, um, America is the aggressor and that we've been the aggressor for a long time. We've been breaking our promises to not expand NATO. And there almost doesn't seem to be a point for NATO anymore, except to funnel money to weapons manufacturers. Right. And they've already you know, 14,000 Ukrainians in the Donbass have been killed all, uh, over the last eight years. Who killed them? The Kiev government. And it's supported by the West and NATO. The Russians didn't kill those people. 